Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about coloring books and more specifically actually using the coloring books we own <laughs> or that I own at least, but I'm hoping some of you will join me in this. Okay, so if you're like me and you love coloring, you probably love coloring books and have purchased a lot of them. And what we tend to do a lot of times, or definitely what I tend to do, is I purchase way more than I actually use them. And I'm challenging myself this year to use more of my coloring books. Now my purchasing has gone way down already for the year. I'm already almost through the second month of the year and I've only purchased a couple coloring books, which is pretty impressive <laughs> compared to what I have done the past couple years. Having said that, I still have plenty of coloring books, way too many in fact, and I do color a lot, but not enough. So this challenge and what I'm challenging myself this year is to each month color in the same books and try to get some of my books completed. So I have picked six books here and we're going to go through all six of these books together, but I'm not only coloring in these six books. It's just I would like to color at least one page per month out of these six books. And then once I've colored that, you know, I'm free to color anything else that I want and out of any of my other coloring books. It's just I figure if I make an effort to color at least one page per month out of the books, it'll eventually be done. <laughs> now, some of the books are going to take a while because this one has 50 pages, but some of them are less pages too. So we're going to go ahead and go through these. So I'm going to move this aside so we can talk about the first one. And secondary to kind of talking about the books and showing them to you, I'm actually going to be showing you some completed pages because I have several books that I've never actually hauled on the channel before. So even though I have completed pages, I never showed those completed pages yet because I'm like, oh, well, I want to haul the book on the channel first. And that's just not happening. I probably have about, probably about 150 coloring books in my collection that I've never shown on the channel yet that I've never hauled. And I'm going to have those videos coming up for you because you guys said you love seeing the hauls. But these books I'm going to show you today, the ones that haven't been seen before on the channel, which I think four of the books I'm going to show you have never been shown on the channel. So we're doing a haul. We're doing a, these are the books that I'm concentrating on coloring and we're doing completed pages. So this is like a multi video. Now I did pick six books that I want to challenge myself to color a page per month out of. Um, and this will be starting in March. So I have not done it up to this point, but March going forward, um, one page per month is my goal. So the first book I have right here is Adorbs Dragons. This is a Sherry Baldy, My Besties coloring book. It's super duper adorable. This book is special to me because my youngest son gave it to me for Mother's Day last year. And um, he's gonna be going off to Marine Corps boot camp soon and then in the Marines. So I figure, you know, secondary to actually getting some stuff done, when I color a page out of here every month, I will think of him and that'll just be nice. Okay, so this book has 50 coloring pages. There are duplicates, so there's only 25 unique pages, but I actually plan on coloring all 50 because, let's see, are they in a row? Yeah, they're in a row. I plan to color all 50 because you can always color them so differently. You know, you can use a whole different color palette or you can um, use a different medium when you color the second one. So I don't mind the duplicates and I do plan on coloring all 50 pages in this book. I have this crazy goal that I would like to complete all my coloring books, like every page in them. So I know it's crazy, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ones I colored. So here is the first one. So you can see I colored this one back at the end of May 2019, but I had never shown it yet because I was waiting to haul the book on the channel and you know, 
it's a YouTuber's life. <laughs> we put things aside because we want to show on the channel and then we never get around to it. And before you know it, it's 2020. <laughs> okay, so here is the first one I colored. And I just used markers on this. Was it? Okay, it was uh, some sort of alcohol markers because there is a bleed through. But I thought it turned out really cute. I enjoyed coloring it. I like how bright all the colors are. And then we're going to take a look at the next one, or the other one I did in this book. This one does not have bright colors. This is a very pastel color palette here. And um, this I actually did with watercolors. So you can kind of see through. The, the page is a little crinkly sounding, which I actually like the crinkly paper. I know some people don't like that, but I actually really like it. Um, so this one was fun to do. It was actually fun to just use, I think it was just a cheap watercolor paint set from Michaels. And it was fun to just kind of put color down there on the paper. And um, yeah, I think it turned out really cute. I really like it. So this is the first book that I am challenging myself to do a picture out of each day. Next, we are going to talk about this one. This is another brand new book, so I've never hauled it yet. We'll just count this as a haul right now. This is the Cakes and Candies by Sachin Sadeva. Sadeva? I don't know. I am so sorry for messing up that name. <laughs> um, but this is Cakes and Candies, a color by number book. And um, this is just a very kind of basic, let's see. Let's see if we want to zoom in just a little bit. It's just a very basic color by number. Like the pages are not super detailed, but they are really, really cute. I actually love these and they're all different like cakes and sweet treats and gumball. I like that one. That's the one. No, it's not the one from the cover. I love the gumball machine. That's really cute. Little gingerbread house. So this is one that I would like to, again, work on one page every month. And I did already do one when I got this book. So this is the one that I completed. Actually, I'm gonna put that back in. Ta -da! Because this one was done this month um, in February and um, it's gonna be part of my February completed pictures video. But there's that one. A lot of fun, again, to color. I just colored this with Bic marking um, or the Bic, oh, they changed the name. Big Intensity, I think it might be called, just the alcohol markers. And it was fun. So that's the second book. Okay, third book, let's see. This one I don't believe has ever been hauled on the channel either. So this is Cute Unicorns by Jade Summer. And this was given to me, let me look at, was it Christmas or my birthday? It was Christmas. This was given to me at Christmas this year by my oldest son. So I have a book for each of my sons that I plan on coloring one picture a month out of. And this one is adorable. I love the unicorns. They certainly are cute, like the title of the book says. Um, I don't have any colored in this one yet, but I plan to get started on this very soon. So Cute Unicorns is the next one. Okay, this is the last book that I don't think I have hauled on this channel, but we're gonna end with that one, actually. Yeah, let's end with that one. Okay, so these two books you have seen on the channel before, but they are ones that I still want to work on each month. So this is One Color Mandala by Sun Life Drawing. And I've shown these pictures before. Um, these are just really pretty mandalas that you can use a one color to complete. So I have a few up here in the front that I have done that with. So there's those. Then what I started doing with this book is I flipped to the back and you can see here's one I finished again in February. So I'm gonna leave the little tab because that'll be part of that video. But what I'm doing here, I think I started, no, I haven't started another one. Okay, when I have glitter gel pens that are almost near the end, 
I'm just using them in this book just to kind of finish them up because I don't like when they get like right near the end and then you're afraid you're gonna run out of color when you're working with that pen in a book. So I went ahead and um, just started using them on here. So you can see I started with the green and I did it well, the pen ran out right away. Then I started doing this fluorescent yellow and it lasted so much longer than I thought it was gonna last. So most of my mandala is in the fluorescent yellow. And then I just had two little spots left. The yellow died out, so I have two little orange petals there. <laughs> but I think that's a fun way to use this book too, just to kind of use up some of those pens. Um, I actually have a video on this book too where I talked about you know, just being able to use some of your colors that don't get used as often. Like I use pink and blue a lot, but like let's say this color, I don't reach for this color as much. So I end up with a lot of markers like in the same shade. So this is a great way to just use some of those markers up. Okay, next book I want to color a picture out of each month in is Little Sweethearts by Deborah Moeller. And I have several done in this book. I'll just go ahead and kind of flip through. They've been shown in videos in the past, but in case you didn't see those videos. Um, this book is really, really cute. I love Deborah Moeller, and this book is just exceptionally cute to me. So I have several done in here. I just started going in order. And then some of these girls, I went ahead and just colored in their skin because I had gotten a new marker and <laughs> I don't, um, I don't do shading on the skin at all. I just straight color with marker. So I just went ahead and colored several of those. Um, so you can kind of see, let's start this way. Oh, I have another one done back here. There's not that many pages in here. Well, I mean, I guess there are, but anyway, it's a cute book. This is my next one. I really, really want to complete this entire book. So that's why I put it in this challenge. And then the very last one, like I said, this is going to count as a haul, an introduction to using it up, and a completed pages, because look at all those tabs. <laughs> so this is a Disney Mickey a Coloriage Mystere, and I purchased this off Amazon UK. They have some of the cutest Disney color by number books. So in the back of the book, it kind of shows you pages, um, like what the pages are gonna look like once they're colored in. But this entire book is Mickey and Friends. And I love these books. They have nice, thick, dark line art, um, really easy to see. They use not that big of a color palette and they're just a lot of fun to work in. So this is the next one. I would love to finish this book up. Um, there are a lot of pages, even though I've colored quite a few, there are a lot to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ones I have completed. And both of these are on that list. So let's start with this one. This was done February 23rd of 2019, so quite a while ago, but really cute, Donald and Daisy. And then I also did this one in February of 2019. Next up are going to be these two. So both of these were done in April of 2019. So here we have Goofy with a dolphin. He's underwater taking a picture, which is really cute. <laughs> and here is Mickey and Donald. They're rock climbing there. And lastly, I have these two, which were also both done in April of 2019. This one is probably one of my favorites with Mickey and Minnie watching the fireworks. Super duper cute. And then we have Donald here trying to catch a butterfly. <laughs> so I have completed six and there are 30 pictures. So 24 to go. So if I only color one picture a month, it would take me two years to, <laughs> to finish this book. So I better get busy and do more than one a month. But that's my last book. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull these all out and kind of spread them out so you can see them all. Let me know what you guys think. You know, do you plan on trying to complete some of your books? Is that a challenge you would like to take up? Um, let me know down in the comments. I think it would be fun. I think it would be fun to not be alone. <laughs> 
and you know to actually really work on specifically targeting certain books and getting them done. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.